guys welcome back to my channel it's fatima again trust you all very well my returning subscribers thank you so much for joining me again today and if you're new here i'll probably just say my face for the first time my name is fatima stani and on this channel i share information on you know living in uk as an immigrant lifestyle tips immigration tips more like living abroad tips so if you're looking for videos like this and like to see more videos like this then you should please kindly subscribe to this channel give thumbs up if you really like my video and click on that notification bell just so you don't miss when i post a new video okay guys thank you so much as you're doing that so in today's video we're going to talk about the latest immigration news in uk which is the uk government looking to curb on the number of foreign students coming to uk just now and bbc reports that here it reports that uk net migration its all-time record at 504,000, and for this reason and many more the uk government is looking to like curb on the number of foreign students coming to uk just now they're looking to come on foreign students taking low quality degrees and bringing in their dependent whatever it is you mean by low quality degrees we can't really say because they've not given the exact meaning of the low quality degrees they're referring to and um i must also mention the home secretary Sula braverman also raised a concern she said she's looking to reduce the number of um foreign students coming to uk and the number of their dependent coming to the uk because she believes that the prison immigration is putting a lot of pressure in on uk public services in terms of housing and accommodation schools hospitals and you know so many so many of the public services and for this our target him is to reduce the uk immigration by the hundreds of thousands and she's targeting foreign students and she intends to do this by reducing this foreign student taking substandard courses in inadequate universities or whatever she meant by substandard courses we don't know what she meant but if um the chancellor in my hunt last week we insisted immigration was required to boost growth adding that there had to be a long-term plan if we're going to be bringing down migration in a way that doesn't harm their economy that means they are not going they, they don't have intention of reducing the migration just now but that's we don't we don't know you know the definite we don't know the definite answer to what they are saying they want to reduce it they don't want to reduce it they want to like cut down the number of student foreign students coming to uk just now what we know is um, the net migration is not as a result of UK students coming alone to UK. We have, you know, refugees coming from Afghanistan, refugees coming from Ukraine, and, you know, so many more people coming from Hong Kong. This, in addition to, like, like the foreign student contributes to, like, you know, number of immigration we're experiencing now in UK. But nonetheless, foreign student, we all know that in this year alone has contributed greatly to the UK economy. And for this reading, I don't think they would um they would drastically reduce the number of um students coming to uk but i and this is me just saying that because this is the debate going back and forth and also here the department of education raised concern over university funding if the number of ip i fee paying international student is cut off that means there's like um there's like a great effect this is going to have on university funding because then most universities especially universities in areas that you know more like universities in scotland or in some other parts of england will probably be affected a lot and they could go bankrupt for this reason and also we also heard here when the advisor on immigration policy has also warned that some university go, could go bankrupt if there's a clamp down on the so-called low quality uh, low quality degrees so there's there's a kind of like debate going back and forth whether this is going to be like this situation whether they're going to like reduce it whether they're going to cut down foreign students taking low quality degrees or they're just going to like um focus on number of um, students coming to uk with a dependent or you know things like that we don't know what the health and the outcome is going to be but regardless if you're coming to uk I think it's very very important i pointed out that if you're coming to uk as a student anytime soon it's very very important you put in your application asap because at this moment there's nothing nothing has been you know nothing has been concluded on this debate going back and forth another thing is that is very very important to like point out is you know how they're talking about low quality degree substandard courses we don't know what substandard courses is we don't know what low quality degree means but it's also very important for you to, if you're coming to UK just now, especially most people coming from Nigeria and India, 
I'm aware that most people that come into UK just now, especially as a student, are being helped by agent. While I agree, why I feel is okay for you to get help by agent if you need any assistance with your application and things like that. I think it's also very, very important. You do your own research. Reason is you are the one spending the money. You are the one coming to UK and you're the one that is going to be living in UK. I think it's very, very important that you search for courses that you're being, that has been picked for you. Make sure that the courses are, courses are in high demand in UK. That means courses that immediately after your degree, you you have like high chance of getting a job immediate, in, almost immediately. We all know that like, um, we all know the graduate route doesn't count towards your settlement in UK. And if you come into UK and um, they're talking about low quality degree, low, you know, substandard courses, this is high time you, you started looking for, you know, courses that are going to give you that job almost immediately. The courses that are going to like make you get in the labor market almost immediately. immediately. Courses that are going to like make you feel that shortage, the economy sh shortage or labor shortage, they are, they, they are saying, Courses that, that is going to make you feel that gap almost instantly when you finish your degree. Those are the courses you have to look for, look out for, guys. Okay, and how do you search for for that? You have to just go to gov.uk and search for occupation, you know, shortage list, and you see all those, you know, jobs there. And there you can know what courses to go for. Another thing I have to point out is, guys, this is very very important, and. Um, and you know, most of the agents that are helping you, your home country are kind of like affiliated with all these university. It was very, very important. I point, it is very, very important. I pointed out that in UK, we have over 1,000 universities. And out of these one, over 1,000 universities, it's just about 300 of these universities that have license to sponsor. What I'm saying is, don't come to UK and feel sorry that, oh, if I had known that I would have checked this. Check this before you come to me, UK. Make sure the universities that has been picked out for you are universities that have license to sponsor. You are the one spending this money. Make sure that you're getting the, you know, you're picking the very right university. I'm going to show you how to pick the check for this university. You can filter the university based on where, wherever in UK you want to go. So if you if you want to come to UK and you want to stay back in in UK, then this is what you should do. Okay, guys. So let's go into, you know, gov.uk and let me show you how you search for this university because it's very, very important. I show you this. Okay. So guys, this is what I do. I just go on Google and type in graduate visa UK. And once you do that, you click on that and it gives you graduate visa overview gov.uk. So once you see gov.uk, this overview, just click on it and it tells you, it, it brings you to this site because you study how much and everything, more like the overview and everything here, everything you need to know about the graduate visa. But we are most particular about the course you study. Hmm? So when you come to the course you study, it tells you the your education provider. Don't forget the reason why we're coming here is we want to check your education provider if they have license to sponsor you. And um, yeah, so it tells you everything about your course, whether it's UK bachelor's degree, UK master's or PhD, but we are most particular about the UK education provider. And here it says, check if your education provider has a track record of compliance. So click on this. So once you click on this, it brings you to this page and it tells you um, that this record of, li or re register of license sponsors for student is last was last updated on the 25th of november 2022 and you can see the whole update here so if you can see here it, it tells you how often they update this page say it was updated previous to 24th 23rd it doesn't mean that it's daily but you know that means it's just tell you that they update it from time to time uh, that means they update it very often so what you can do is you can view online if you want to view online if you click on view online here, so once you click on view online, it shows you the list of um, all the schools. Earlier when I said universities, just not just universities, there are colleges and things like that. So it tells you all the schools that are on the, on the UK list. But here it says this previews only shows the first 1,000 rows and 50 columns. That means there are some schools, maybe they are starting with Y, like the first letter starting with Y or Z. Uh, kind of like hidden so you can't get to see it especially if your school if the school you're looking for is in that list 
So what you then do, have to do is just download the file to view its full content. So that's what I do. I just click here and you can see here that it's downloaded. So to be able to see the full content and to be able to like filter for the actual school or university you want to search for, I just go to my email and just type, go, go down here and um, go on sheets. I don't necessarily have to like use an Excel spreadsheet to like open it, just so like I can be able to filter and go to this blank one. So once I click on the blank one, it gives me this. And I come here, I click on file. I say open and I go to upload and I browse. So from browse, you can see the recently downloaded is this, which I just did here. And I just say open. So that's, that's it opening here. So one, once it opens up, this is what it's going to show you. But I want to open it with Google Sheets because I'm using Google. So if, you, if you're familiar with this, you can use any other one. But this is the one I'm very much familiar with. with. And here you can see how all the schools, their towns. I'm kind of like trying to like um, expand it. But I'm most, I'm most particular about the um, student sponsor, which is this column. So what I then have to do is, well, before then, if you look here, so what I'm trying to do is I want to like filter for the schools. I just go to data and first thing I do is I create a filter and that way it has created filter. And with the filter, you can see here that it tells you the counts, the school counts. I don't know if you can see here, it tells you the school's count, but we are most particular about the schools that can sponsor. So if you come here, you clear, you clear filter, you clear everything and click on student sponsor track. That's what we are particular about. And click OK. It tells you all the schools with sponsor track record. You can see them here from A and you know, you can scroll down to the very, very bottom. But if, you're, if, you, if you don't want to scroll down, you just want to search for your school, what you then have to do is just press Control F, which I've done here. So for example, if my school is York, York College, or maybe starting with Y, I just type York College, and it's, it's here, and it takes me here, and it says, it says it's got a track record. That means this school can sponsor this school. I mean, that school have license to sponsor. So, guys, this is what you need to do. It's very, very important. You come here from time to time. Okay, guys. So, guys, this brings me to the end of this video. I hope you find this video very informative. If you have any question, please drop it in my comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. It doesn't necessarily have to be for this video alone. You can, if you've seen any of my previous video and you have any question about any of them, then I'm happy to answer them as soon as I could do. So guys, I'm going to ask you, if you've still not subscribed to this growing channel, I think this is high time. This is the time for you to like subscribe to this growing channel. Give thumbs up if you really like my video and click on that notification bell just so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, guys, I'm going to say bye for now. Bye.